Welcome, thank you for clicking through to this video where I'm going to explain what happens inside the engine when we use too much choke, just having the choke on for too long. And as always, this is how these systems work to the best of my knowledge and beliefs. We'll start with a fuel tank, we've got some fuel in there, fuel filter, a fuel line and carburetor, and then we've got an engine. These two here are not to scale. And so we've got all the system now primed with fuel and we're ready to start the engine. So we'll make sure the choke's on then. The piston lowers on the induction stroke, it is drawing in air out of the air filter and into this side of the carburetor and it would like to just go through the carburetor without any restrictions but of course it can't do that because we've got the choke butterfly closed but the butterfly has a little tiny hole through it and a small amount of air can get through this so what actually happens now is that a vacuum builds up in this area but the vacuum building up in here is a very good thing and that's the reason we're using the choke to create this vacuum when we first start an engine that's strong vacuum is pulling up on that fuel beneath it but sucks it out up to the top of the main jet and then draws it out into the induction tube. The result of this high level of vacuum pulling out of the main jet is that we've now got a higher ratio of fuel compared to air going into the engine and that's necessary to get the engine started. We need more fuel in there because the engine's still cold. The piston continues to lower then and draw in that fuel and air and then the piston rises up on the compression stroke and it compresses that air and all of that fuel that's with the air and then combustion takes place and so the engine will run like this with the choke on for several cycles of the piston of course until the engine's warmed up enough that we can actually turn the choke off so that depends on the type of engine we've got but there will be several cycles like this and then we can turn off the choke turning off the choke means opening the choke butterfly if we were to leave the choke butterfly on for longer than it needs to be because now the engine's that little bit warmer then the engine will run lumpy and sometimes smoke excessively and the reason for that is because we've got too much fuel in there but the thing is with the choke it gets that amount of fuel in there a larger amount just to initially get it started and initiate those first few cycles of the piston there's so much excess fuel in fact that it starts to lie on top of the piston and line the cylinder walls and when the piston rises again it's more likely to look something more like this not all of it will be combusted so there'll be some incomplete combustion and so there will still be some fuel hanging round in that cylinder regardless of the fact that the spark plug has just fired on this power stroke as a result of this incomplete combustion the exhaust fumes that are left in the wake of the power stroke have unburnt fuel within it and so as the piston rises now on this exhaust stroke it doesn't only push out the exhaust gases through the exhaust port it also pushes out fuel that's been unused and anyone who's actually run an engine with the choke on for too long will actually know that this smell of fuel does come out of the exhaust they've probably experienced it and that the lumpy running and the excess smoke in some cases is all down to this excess fuel the internal combustion engine like this little one here isn't designed generally to run on this amount of excess fuel even though the chokes designed to bring this high amount through but we need this amount because when the engine's cold it can't efficiently burn small amounts of atomized fuel that it can do when it's warmer but of course when we come to start an engine we can sacrifice just at the beginning the engine running well for actually getting the engine started in the first place at the same time we can't have this kind of uneven running for long that's why we only use the choke very momentarily and then we can turn off the choke and the engine will run okay under normal circumstances that is and I'd like to personally thank you for watching this whole video through to the end and if you do want to watch the full version of this video then the link should be just here at the side. Please also have a look down at the description the information I've got down there for you and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching.